Ready? Okay. We're gonna do the air brake test. This is uh, this is the one thing you have to have a hundred percent on on your uh, on your test when you go. So, first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna crack your window. We're gonna build up air pressure. Do a safe start. We're gonna build up air pressure to the kick out. You do that by applying 1400 RPMs and you're listening for what sounds like a sneeze. All right. It's basically whenever the air, uh, the compressors, the tanks, they fill up, the tanks fill up completely. It's kind of like an overflow group. <laughs> the key to the on position without starting reason we're doing this now is so that all our lights are coming on because we're going to check our air system all right so put it in gear did it turn the motor off please key wheel. okay put it in gear or chalk the wheels all right so i'm going to put it in gear because i'm not going to chalk the wheels any gear will work all right push both the parking brakes and the trailer fill what we're doing now is we built up pressure in the tanks, okay? Now we're applying all the air. Think of it as like plumbing. You can't check the plumbing if you don't apply water to the uh, pipes. So what we're doing here is we're applying air to all the lines. We're gonna let it settle out, and then we're going to put our foot on the service brake, that's the regular brake, and we're going to apply pressure and hold it for 60 seconds. Now up here on your main, You'll see that the temperature gauge drop. It's not supposed to drop more than four PSI in 60 seconds. Now, if it dropped five PSI and then held, what are you gonna say on the test? Did not drop more than four PSI in 60 seconds. So you're gonna be counting for 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. So at this point, we're gonna simulate that it's been 60 seconds. But what I'm doing right now is I'm applying pressure. I'm applying pressure through the entire system. If I had a leak, it would lose more than four PSI in 60 seconds. Okay, so that's what I'm checking. So now, I take my foot off the service brake. And I am going to press and release it back and forth, back and forth, and that'll start dropping all of my air. What I'm testing for right now is two things. The first thing is I want the audible and visual alarm to come on at 60 PSI. So, all right, the audible alarm and the visual alarm came on at 60 PSI. Now, I'm going to continue to press and release the service brake and check to make sure that my two pop-outs come out between 20 and 40 PSI. So then I say my two pop-outs mm -hmm. came out between 20 and 40 PSI. So what I've just done is, is every time you touch that air brake, all right, with the compressor running, all right, if the compressor wasn't running, every time you touch the air brake, you're losing pressure in your system. So that's why I kept hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. That's why the truck's off right now, because the compressor's not running, okay? What we wanted to check is our two alarm systems. At 60 PSI, this alarm will come on and the light will come on. The reason that the alarm and the light comes on at 60 PSI is because that's kind of where we figure between 60 and 40 is enough time for us to get pulled over. Because every time you hit the brake and hit the brake, you're gonna be losing, right? So what happens at 20 to 40 PSI? These two pop. 
So if that alarm doesn't go off and you're driving 65 miles an hour down the road and these pop out between 20 and 40 PSI, what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, bad day. So now, because we've done these, we're going to do a safe start. That means we have to take it and put it in the neutral, put our foot on the clutch, and we're going to start the truck. Now, this part of our air brake test here, this is to build the pressure up at 1400 PS, uh, 1400 RPMs. What we're testing now is our compressor. We need to make sure that our compressor can keep up with how much we think that applied normal brake pressure would be. So according to the test, it has to go from 85 PSI to 100 PSI in less than 45 seconds, all right? So I'm watching, so it's at 75, that's about 85, so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. It went from 85 PSI to 100 PSI in less than 45 seconds, okay? Now I'm going to continue building the air pressure up here just till the alarms go off. At that point, I will take my hands and feet and everything off that and I'll say, this concludes my air brake test. At any point in time, if you do something wrong on the air brake test or you have a brain fart, stop and say, I would like to start my air brake test over. And then you turn around and start the entire process over again. Make sense, clear as mud? Cool. Oh, a trick for your numbers, okay? This is, I'm a math person, not everybody's a math person. I'm a math person. So I look at the first set of numbers that you need to know is 60 PSI, right? So that's when the lights come on, is at 60. The next two numbers is 20 and 40. Between 20 and 40 PSI, these two pop out, right? What's 20 plus 40? 60. 60. So 60 and then 40, then 20. Then you're gonna build up to you know, you're building up at 1400 RPMs until you get 85 PSI. 85 to 100, how many is that? 15. That's 15. And how many seconds? 45. So that gives us three 15s, you know? It's divisible by 15. I don't, I'm a math guy, so that helps. Anyway, that concludes our air break too.